We have all heard how good exercise is for us, how it improves our hearts and lungs and helps us avoid diseases like diabetes. That's why so many of us make New Year's resolutions to move more, knowing that doing so will make us healthier and live longer. However, many people are unaware of the other significant benefits of exercise, such as how it can help us find happiness, hope, connection, and courage. Hey, everyone. Welcome to our channel. In today's video, we'll answer one of the most often asked questions regarding exercise. How does exercise change the brain? So without further ado, let's get into it. Way number 5. Exercises transform your self-image. Sensory receptors in your muscles, tendons, and joints send information to your brain about what is going on whenever you move your body. This is why, if you close your eyes and raise one arm, you can feel the position change and determine where your arm is in space. You don't have to observe what's going on. You can sense it. Proprioception is the capacity to perceive your body's movements and is sometimes referred to as the sixth sense. It allows us to move across space with ease and expertise, and it also plays a surprising role in self-concept. How you think about who you are and how you imagine others view you. When you engage in any physical activity, the features of your movement shape your moment-to-moment -moment sense of self. When you move gracefully, your brain notices the lengthening of your limbs and the smoothness of your steps and concludes, I am graceful. When you move with power, your brain encodes the explosive contraction of muscles, detects the speed of the motion, and comprehends, I am powerful. If you have, a voice in your head that says, you're too old, too awkward, too huge, too broken, too weak, movement feelings can present a persuasive counter-argument. Physical achievements alter how you perceive yourself and what you are capable of, and the impact should not be overlooked. We were clearly born to move, and the benefits of exercise to our psychological and social well-being are numerous. So, why not kick off the new year with a bang by adding more activity to your life? You will undoubtedly feel better, be happier, and have better social relationships as a result. Way number 4. Moving with others builds trust and belonging. When French sociologist Emile Durkheim developed the term collective effervescence to describe the ecstatic self-transcendence humans experience when they move together in ritual, prayer, or work, he was ahead of his time in his description. Participating in social activities such as group exercise, yoga, or dancing classes is one of the most effective methods to experience joy. Psychologists believe that synchrony, moving in the same direction and at the same time as others, is the key to generating collective happiness because it causes the release of endorphins. This explains why dancers and rowers who move in sync have higher pain tolerance than other people. However, endorphins do more than just make us feel good. They also help us bond with one another. People who participate in a group activity such as trust one another and feel closer to one another afterward because they have experienced an endorphin surge. It's a powerful neurological mechanism that allows us to create friendships with people we don't even know well. In order to capitalize on the social benefits of coordinated movement, group exercise has been successful. For example, the higher your heart rate rises, the more connected you feel to the others with whom you dance in sync, and the addition of music heightens the sensation even further. Number 3. Exercise makes you brave. Another effect of physical activity on the brain is courage. At the same time as a new exercise habit improves the reward system, it also strengthens neuronal connections between areas of the brain that reduce anxiety. Regular physical activity can also change the neurological system's default state, making it more balanced and less prone to fight, flight, or panic. The most recent research even reveals that lactate, a metabolic byproduct of exercise that is typically, but incorrectly, blamed for muscle soreness, has a favorable impact on mental health. Lactate is released by muscles and goes through the bloodstream to the brain, where it modifies neurochemistry to lower anxiety and protect against depression. Because the vocabulary we use to define courage is based on bodily metaphors, the action itself can sometimes allow us to see ourselves as brave. We overcame challenges, broke down barriers, and walked through fire. We bear one another's burdens, reach out for assistance, and raise one another up. This is how we, as humans, discuss bravery and resilience. When we face difficulties or doubt our own power, it might be beneficial to feel these behaviors in our bodies. The mind intuitively deduces meaning from physical actions. Sometimes we have to climb a real hill, pull ourselves up, or work together to carry a hefty load to realize that these characteristics are a part of us. Number 2. 
Exercise can make your brain more sensitive to joy. When you exercise, you give the brain's reward centers a low-dose jolt, the system of the brain that helps you anticipate pleasure, feel motivated, and sustain hope. Regular exercise remodels the reward system over time, resulting in increased circulating dopamine levels and more accessible dopamine receptors. As a result, exercise can both alleviate depression and increase your capacity for joy. These adjustments can also help to repair the brain damage caused by substance misuse. Substance addiction affects dopamine levels in the brain and the availability of dopamine receptors in the reward system. As a result, addicts may feel unmotivated, sad, antisocial, and unable to appreciate regular joys. Exercise can help to reverse this. Adults in methamphetamine therapy participated in an hour of walking, running, and strength training three times a week in one randomized trial. Their brains exhibited an increase in dopamine receptor availability in the reward circuit after eight weeks. Reactivating the brain's reward system improves more than simply people suffering from despair or addiction. Our brains change as we age, with adults losing up to 13% of dopamine receptors in the reward circuit with each decade. This loss results in diminished enjoyment of everyday pleasures, however, physical activity helps counteract the reduction. In comparison to their inactive counterparts, active older adults have reward systems that are more similar to those of persons who are decades younger. Number 1. Exercise help improve memory. Numerous studies indicate that exercise can help protect our memory as we age. This is because exercise has been demonstrated to prevent total brain volume reduction, which can contribute to decreased cognitive performance, as well as shrinking in specific brain areas related with memory. One magnetic resonance imaging MRI, scan research, for example, discovered that six months of fitness training improves brain capacity in older persons. Another study found that frequent walking can prevent shrinking of the hippocampus, a brain area important for learning and memory, in elderly persons. This shift was followed by enhanced memory performance and a rise in blood levels of the protein brain-derived nootropic factor. Because of its involvement in cell survival, plasticity, the brain's capacity to change and adapt in response to experience, and function, BDNF is crucial for good cognitive performance. Positive associations between exercise, BDNF, and memory have been thoroughly studied and shown in both young adults and elderly persons. BDNF is also one of numerous proteins associated in adult neurogenesis, the ability of the brain to change its structure by developing new neurons throughout adulthood. Neurogenesis occurs in just a few brain locations, one of which being the hippocampus, and may thus be a key process in learning and memory. Regular physical exercise may help to protect memory in the long run by triggering neurogenesis through BDNF. While the relationship between exercise, BDNF, neurogenesis, and memory is extensively documented in animal models, experimental and ethical restrictions imply that, its significance to human brain function is not as obvious. Nonetheless, exercise-induced neurogenesis is being studied as a possible treatment for neurological and psychiatric illnesses such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and depression. What is your exercise routine? And do you believe it has any effect on your brain? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. So there you have it. If you enjoyed today's content, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. Until next time.